Yep. Yep. Look at that hook set, boys. I mean, does it get any more perfect than that? to another episode of Tackle Jocks. Today, we are at the beautiful, but small, Oxbow Lake in St. Paul, Virginia. But looks can be deceiving. Big things come in small packages. Trust me, there's some big, big bass in here. Every once in a while, you'll hook into one, and that's why we're gonna be throwing this lure right here. This is the Berkeley Nessie, the seven inch version. Throwing it on the Royal Empire Rod. This is a medium heavy 7.2. We've also got some other lures that we're gonna try out, but we're gonna be focusing primarily on this lure right here. It's supposed to get a little windy today. It's glass right now, but we're gonna have gusts of up to 30 miles an hour today. So that's why we're here instead of a larger lake. Cause we don't really care to get blown around in a small lake like this. Oh wow. This water's a lot clearer than I thought it was, but that's okay because that's exactly what you want for glide baits. Water clarity, look at this. You can almost use it like a wake bait. If you keep your rod tip high with these, it will work exactly like a wake bait. We're gonna do the first lap with this right here. Like I said, we've got some other lures that we're gonna try out as well. Like a chatterbait, a worm. But when the wind gets here, we're gonna be focusing solely on moving baits. So it should be a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and get in the water, boys. bass right no way don't tell me okay that is a bass it is a bass i was about to say there's no way that's a crappy oh come up here buddy wow just a really pale bass that's insane look at that hook set boys i mean does it get any more perfect than that that's insane look at that wow basically had to perform surgery to get this bass off that's insane here we go Let's get a look at him, that voice. Look at that. Nice little oxbow bass. I thought it was gonna be bigger just by the way it was fighting, but nice. Quality little bass right there. I'll throw it on the measuring board. I'm gonna say 15 and a half, 15 and a quarter, somewhere in there. Actually, 15 and three quarter. Nice. Nope. <laughs> okay. He's not cooperating. So we'll send him back now. Look at that. Little oxbow chunker. Appreciate you, buddy. Goes. See, we got some red ear sliders. Oh, and as soon as I started talking, they're dipping in the water. There's another one right there. Absolutely gorgeous animals. You can see they're up here basking in the sun early this morning. The air temp is like probably in the mid 40s right now. It was in the 30s this morning. And so they're up here basking in the sun, soaking up some radiation, and some vitamin D, and primarily the heat. This behavior is called thermoregulation. All ectotherms, or cold blooded animals, have to do it. They can't regulate their own body temperature, so this is what they do. They get out and bask in the sun. Bass are also ectotherms, so you can use turtles as an indicator species to let you know where the best basking spots are. And a lot of the times you'll find bass and a lot of other fish species right below them. Wow, I got hammered. 
to you. I'll be good to you. Look at there. Another pale oxbow bass. They might still be winterized right here. Look at that. Absolutely choked it, dude. That was such a good thump that I thought I was hung on a tree. Crazy. Another beauty. Let's go ahead and send her back. Appreciate you, buddy. <laughs> Down he goes. That is more like it right there, boy, is it? <laughs> yes, sir. This is what we're after today. Yeah. Yeah. It's, good. it's like three and a half right there. Solid. It's going out of Oxbow too. Look at this wind. Look at this wind, dude. There you go. You guys can get a better look at them now. Just a beautiful fish right there. Beautiful, healthy fish. Let's get a measurement on him. First oxbow lap hog of the year, baby. Let's go. Alrighty. This fish is gonna sit right at 19 inches. Oxbow lap hog, baby. Alrighty. Wow, just a beautiful fish, man. So thankful for you, sweetheart. I definitely needed a good spring bass like that. And there she goes. a fish oh it is it is oh well, what's a little tension there hopefully I don't lose them oh, it's another bass it's another bass come back around 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 oh, we can't see it yet there we go wow <laughs> this one is extremely wired that is crazy there boys just another beautiful bass coming on the Damiki vault black and gold half ounce on this one let's get a pic for Instagram as well all right we got blown into the bank that's okay though let's get a measure on this fish and then we'll send her back sweetheart it's gonna be lap hog status nope not quite it's gonna be a 16 and a half one of the better ones of today though for sure not too shabby beautiful bass though Appreciate you, buddy. Off you use. <laughs> oh, we got it the second time. Yep, he got it the second time. chunky oxbow bass look at that absolutely gorgeous little largy appreciate you buddy there he goes <sighs> yep yep wow he slammed that Stay down. 
Oh. Oh. Let's stay down. No, we'll stop doing that. There we go. Got you, buddy. You absolutely slammed that little buddy. Look at that, boys. Another oxbow bass coming on the vault. They're all over it today. I mean, absolutely crushing it. Beautiful, healthy bass right there. Go ahead and send this little chunker back. Appreciate you, buddy. Yep. Oh. Wow, that was such a good take, buddy. Look at there, boys. Another little oxbow bass. Well, the smallest of the day, but he's eating it. Beauty. Appreciate you, big guy. <laughs> Off you guys. What is this? Oh my god, it's a micro bass. <laughs> Boy, this is what I've been used to catching all month right here. Little tiny guys. Look at that. Literally the smallest bass I've caught this year. Easily. Little taco. <laughs> Appreciate you, buddy. There he goes. Uh, eight pounds, two ounces. Eight pounds. Yep. You want to see a picture of it? I actually caught it right here. <laughs>